Miss Eloise Bridgerton has never been one to shy away from the beat of her own drum. This author admires her courage to be fiercely different. The question remains, will the rest of the ton feel the same? What little courage it takes to spout opinions from quill to page. Perhaps I have simply realized there is much to discover for those who finally reveal themselves to society. Eloise Bridgerton is literally like, are you seriously writing about me still? I am sad for this drama, and if there's anyone that does drama, it is Shondaland. Shondaland knows how to do it. As much as like there is like this change from book to page, I'm also kind of here for it in a way. Never got to see Eloise's like initial reaction when she found out that Penelope is Lady Whistledown. But I am ready to see the story play out. I just, I need them to be besties by the end of part one. Like that's all I need. Because I want Eloise to be there to support her friend, to stand beside her when Colin and Penelope get together, like when the wedding happens. But for right now, the Eloise and Penelope drama is like, mm. like it's it's almost more of a bombshell than some of the other things coming out for Bridger season, season three. The girlies are fighting, y'all. Oh. Just let Penelope be a thing again, please.